environment environment after uh, the long vacation when ravi started going to school again he noticed that the only playground next to his school was dug up people said that a huge building with many flats will be constructed here ravi was almost in tears when he realized that the big playground with its soft grasses marigolds and butterflies is gone forever he shared his feelings with his classmates in the assembly the principal too sadly observed see how our environment is changing in the class ravi asked his teachers what is environment whatever you see in your surroundings said the teacher ravi thought allowed that means the school building table chair in the classroom even that open field the road the garbage my friends all are part of our environment yes said the teacher but wait some objects are created by nature for example mountain river trees animals are uh, other are made by people for example road cars cloth and books now work in pair make a list with your classmates sitting next to you of a creation by of nature and by human beings environment is our basic life support system it provides the air we breathe the water we drink the food we eat and the land where we live how do human beings modified this natural environment the car fumes pollute the air water is collected in a pot food is served in vessels and land is used to build factories human beings make car mills factories and manufacture containers this is how human being modify natural environment ravi paramjit jassi mustafa asa were all excited for making the list uh, what is our environment changing ask ikbal it is all because of our needs they are increasingly day by day we are uh, therefore modifying and at times even destroying our natural surroundings the teacher replied from the above conservation cons- conversation you understand that the people place people things and nature that surround any living organism in is called environment it is a combination of natural and human made phenomena while the natural environment refer to both biotic and abiotic conditions existing on earth what is biotic the word of living organisms like plant and animals called biotic abiotic the world of non living elements like land are called abiotic environment environment is a french word environner or environnier meaning neighborhood human environments reveal the activities creation and interaction among human beings natural environment land water air plants and animals comprise the natural environment you are familiar with the meaning of lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere from your previous class let us learn some more facts the uh, about these domains lithosphere is the solid crust or the hard top layer of the earth it is made up of rocks and minerals and covered by a thin layer of soil it is a irregular shape with various landforms such as mountain plateaus plain valleys etc landforms are found over the continents and also on the ocean floors lithosphere is the domain that provides us forest land grass grasslands and grazing land for agriculture and human settlements it is also a source of mineral wealth the domain of water is referred to as hydrosphere it comprises various sources of water and different types of water bodies like river lakes seas ocean etc it is essential for all living organisms the atmosphere is the thin layer of the air that surrounds the earth the gravitational force of the earth holds the atmosphere around it it protects us from the harmful rays and scorching heat of the sun it consists of a number of gases dirt and water vapors the changing in the atmosphere produces changes in the 
weather and climate what is ecosystem ecosystem it is a system formed by the interaction of the all living organism with each other and with the physical and chemical factor of the environment in which they live all linked by transfer of energy and material plant and animal kingdom together make biosphere or the living uh, living world it is a narrow zone of the earth where land water air interact with each other to support life what is ecosystem at an ncc camp that ravi's class was attending jersey claimed what is a heavy downpour it reminds me of my home in kerala you should come and see how it is pours and pours and pours over the lush green fields and coconut plantation hira from jaisalmer explained we get no rains we see only kicker and sands as far as the eyes can see but you also find camels said ravi hira says not just camels if you visit our desert you will see snakes lizards and many insect too ravi wondered why do the animals and the vegetation and the way people live vary from place to place are they all related to each other oh yes very much so the teacher replied on 5 june every year the world environment day is celebrated what is barter system it is a trade in which goods are exchanged without the use of money all plants animals and human beings depend on their immediate surrounding often they are also inter dependent on each other this relation between the living organisms as well as the relation between the organism and their surroundings from an ecosystem they could be an ecosystem of large rainforest grasslands deserts mountain lakes rivers ocean and even a small pond do you think the park in which ravi and his friends played formed an ecosystem human environment human being interact with the environment and modify it according to their needs early human adapted themselves to the natural surroundings they led a simple life and fulfilled their requirements from the nature around them with the time need grew and became more varied humans learn new ways to use and change environment they learn to grow crops domesticated animals and lead a settled life the wheel was invented surplus food was produced barter system emerged tree started and the commerce developed industrial revolution in ever large scale production transportation becomes faster information revolution made communication easier and speedy across the world have you ever thought why you uh, love eating a juicy watermelon in summer and not roasted peanuts in winter a perfect balance in necessary between the natural and human environments human must learn to live and use their environment in a harmonious way Nuri a girl from the Mizoram from Ravi's class often talk about the lush green environments of her place seeing Ravi upset at having lost his playgrounds Nuri invited him to visit her home state during the upcoming vacation Ravi's teacher asked the students to draw the landscape houses and activities of the people and the places they visit during the holidays what is the component of him environment which is, is not a component of human environment land which is a uh, human made which is a human made environment roads which is the threat to environment growing population everything is easy inside our earth the earth our homeland is a dynamic planet it is consistently undergoing changes inside and outside have you ever wondered what lies in the interior of earth what is the earth made up of the deepest mine in the world is the south africa it is about 4 km deep in the search for oil engineers have dug a hole about 6 km deep 
to reach to the center of the earth which is not possible you will also have to dig a hole 6000 km deep on the ocean floor interior of earth just like an onion the earth is made up of several critic layers with one inside another the uppermost layer over the earth surface is called the crust it is the thinnest of all the layers it is about 35 km on the continental masses and only 5 km on the ocean floors the main numerical constituent of the uh, const continental mass are silica and alumina it is called it is thrust called cl which means silica and uh, L means alumina. The oceanic crust mainly consists of silica and magnesium. It is therefore called sema, which is C means silica and ma for magnesium. Just breathe the crust, it is mantle which extends up to the depth of the 29,000 km below the crust. The uppermost inner, the innermost layer in the core with a radius of about 35,000-3500 km, it is mainly made up of nickel and iron and it is called nephi. Ni matlab nickel, fi matlab ferrous, that is iron. The central core has very high temperature and pressure. The crust form only 1% of the volume of the earth. 84% consist of the mantle and 15% consist 15% makes the core. The radius of the earth is 6371 kilometers. Rocks and minerals. The earth crust is made up of various types of rocks, natural masses of minerals, matters that make up the earth crust called the R rock. Rock can be a different color, size and texture. There are three major types of rock, igneous rock, sedimentary rock and metamorphic rocks. When the molten magma cools, it becomes solid rocks thrust uh, formed are called igneous rocks they are also called primary rocks there are two types of igneous rock intrusive rock and extrusive rocks can you imagine lava coming out from the volcanoes lava is actually feared red molten magma coming out from the interior of the earth on its surface when this molten lava come on the earth's surface is rapidly cooled down and becomes a solid solid form is such a way on that crust is called extrusive igneous rock they have a very fine green structure for example basalt the Deccan plateau is made up of basalt rocks sometimes the molten magma cools down deep inside the earth's crust solid rocks so formed are called intrusive igneous rock they since they cool down slowly they formed large grains granite is an example of such a rocks grinding stone used to prepare paste powders of spices and grains are made up of granite igneous latin word igni means fire sedimentary latin word sedimentium means settle down metamorphic greek word metamorphs which mean meaning changing of form Fossil, the remains of the dead plants and animals trapped in the layer or layers of rocks are called fossils. Rocks roll down, cracked and hit each other and are broken down into small fragments. These smaller particles are called sediments. These sediments are transported and deposited by the wind, water etc. These loose sediments are compressed and hardened to form layers of rock. These types of rocks are called sedimentary rocks. For example, the sandstone is made from the grains of land. These rocks are also contains fossils of plant and animals and other microorganisms and that once live on them. Igneous and sedimentary rocks uh, can change into metamorphic rocks under great heat and pressure. For example, clay change into state and limestone into marble. Rocks are very useful to us. The hard rocks are used for making road, houses and buildings. You, you use stones in many games. For example, seven stone pitu, hope hosh, stupi, kit kit, uh, five stones, giti. Find out some more uh, such games by asking your friend neighbors. Collect pictures. Red fort made up of red stone. Taj Mahal made up of white marble. You. Um, 
you will be surprised to know that one type of rock changes to another type under certain condition in a cyclic manner this process of transformation of rocks from one to another is known as the rock cycle you have already learned when the molten magma cools it solidify to becomes igneous rock these igneous rock are broken down into small particles that are transported and deposited to from sedimentary rocks when the igneous and sedimentary rocks are subjected to heat and pressure they change into metamorphic rocks the metamorphic rocks which are still under great heat and pressure melt down to form molten magma this molten magma again can cool down and solidify into igneous rocks rocks are made up of different minerals minerals are ne surely occurring substance which have certain physical properties and definite chemical composition minerals are very important to human kind some of used as fuel for example coal natural gas and petroleum they are also used in industries like iron aluminium gold uranium etc in the medicine in fertilizers etc igneous the inner most layer of the earth core gold petroleum coal are the examples of fossils rocks which contain fossils are metamorphic the thinnest layer of the earth is crust so easy our changing earth the lithosphere is broken into a number of plates known as lithospheric plates you will be surprised to know that these plates move around very slowly just a few millimeters each other this is because of the movement of the molten magma inside the earth the molten magma inside the earth moves in a circular manner as shown in the activity the movement of these plates cause changes on the surface of the earth the earth's movements are divided on the basis of forces which cause them the forces which act on the interior of earth are called as endogenic forces the and the forces that work on the surface of the earth are called exogenic forces earth movements endogenic forces and exogenic forces in endogenic forces sudden forces and dystrophic forces sudden forces are earthquake volcanoes and landslide dystrophic forces are building mountains exogenic forces are erosional and depos uh, depositional forces river winds sea waves glaciers lithospheric plates the earth crust consists of several large and some small rigid irregular shaped plates slabs uh, which carry continents and the ocean floors endogenic forces are sometimes produce sudden movements and at the other times produce slow movements so sudden movements like earthquake and volcanoes causes mass destruction over the surface of the earth volcanoes is a vent opening in the earth crust through which molten material erupt suddenly similarly when the lithospheric plates move the surface of the earth vibrates the vibration can travel all around the earth these vibrations are called earthquakes the plate in the crust where the movement started in the called the focus the place on the surface above the focus is called the epicenter vibration travel outward from the epicenters as waves greatest damage is usually closest to the epicenter and the strengthen to the earthquake decreases away from the center There are three types of earthquakes wave P waves or longitudinal waves S waves or transverse waves L waves or the surface waves All through earthquakes cannot be predicted the impact can be certain be minimized if we are prepared before some common earthquake prediction method adopted locally by the people including the studying animal behavior fish in the ponds get agitated snakes come to the surface earthquake hits bhuj uh, in 2001 26 january 2001 bhuj town bhuj uh, gujarat an earthquake is a measured with a machine called the seismograph the magnitude of the earthquake is measured on the rector scale 
एन अर्थक्वेक ऑफ टू जीरो और लेस देन कैन बी फेल्ट ओनली लिटिल एन अर्थक्वेक ऑफ फाइव कैन कॉज ओ डैमेज फ्रॉम थिंग्स फॉलोइंग सिक्स और हायर मैग्नीट्यूड इज कंसिडर्ड वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड सेवन इज क्लासीफाइड एज मेजर अर्थक्वेक अर्थक्वेक प्रिपेयरनेस वेयर वेयर टू टेक शेल्टर ड्यूरिंग द अर्थक्वेक से स्पॉट अंडर अ किचन काउंट और टेबल और डेस्क अगेंस्ट एन इन साइड और कॉर्नर और वॉल स्टे अवे फ्रॉम फायर प्लेसिस एरियाज अराउंड चिमनीज विंडोज दैट शर्टर्ड इंक्लूडिंग मिरर एंड पिक्चर्स फ्रेम बी प्रिपेयर्ड स्पेयर्ड अवेयरनेस अमॉन्ग योर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली मेंबर्स एंड फेस एनी डिजास्टर कॉन्फिडेंट मेजर लैंड फॉर्म्स द लैंडस्केप इज बींग कंटिन्यूसली वॉर्न अवे बाय टू प्रोसेस वैदरिंग एंड इरोजन वैदरिंग इज द ब्रेकिंग अप ऑफ द रॉक्स ऑन द अर्थ सरफेस इरोजन इज द वियरिंग अवे ऑफ द लैंडस्केप बाय द डिफरेंट एजेंट्स लाइक वाटर विंड एंड आइस द इरोड मटेरियल इज कैरीड अवे और ट्रांसपोर्टेड बाय द वाटर विंड एक्सेट्रा एंड इवेंचुअली डिपोजिटेड दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ इरोजन एंड डिपोजिशन क्रिएट डिफरेंट लैंड फॉर्म्स ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ अर्थ there are thousands of small waterfalls in the world the highest waterfall is angels falls which is situated in venezuela in south africa continent the other waterfall are niagara falls located on the border between canada and us in north america and the victoria falls on the border of zambia and zimbabwe in the africa continent work uh, on the river the running water in the river erodes the landscape when the river tumbles at a steep angle over very hard rock or steep and a steep valley side it forms a waterfall hard rock softened rock undercut by the powers of the water as the river enters the plain it twists twist and turns forming large bends known as meanders due to continuous erosion and deposition along the sides of the meanders the end of the meanders loop come closer and closer in due courses of the time the meanders loop cuts off and the rivers and the forms a cut off lake also called an oxbow lake at times the river overflows its banks this led to the flooding of the neighboring areas as it floods it deposits layer of the fine soil and other material called the sediments along its bank this leads to the formation of flat fertile food plains the raised bank are called leaves as the rivers approaches the sea the speed of the flowing water decreases and the river being to be break up into a number of streams called the distributaries the river becomes so slow that it begins to deposit its load each distributaries forms its own mouth the collection of sediments from all the mouths from a delta work of sea waves the erosion and deposition of the sea waves give rise to the coastal landform sea waves continuously strike at the rocks crackles develop over time they become larger and wider thus hollow like caves are formed on the rocks they are called sea waves as these cavities become bigger and bigger only the roof of the caves remains thus forming sea arches future further erosion breaks the roof and only walls are left these walls like features are called stacks the steep rocky coast rising almost vertically above the sea water is called sea cliff the sea waves deposit sediments along the shores forming beaches work of ice glaciers are rivers of ice which to erode the landscape or by bulldozing soil and stone to expose the solid rocks below glaciers curved out deep hollows there as the ice melts they get filled up with the water and become beautiful lakes in the mountains the material carried by the glaciers such as rocks big and small sand and the slates get deposited these deposits form glacier moraines 
वर्क ऑफ विंड हैव यू एवर विजिटेड अ डेजर ट्राई टू कलेक्ट सम पिक्चर्स ऑफ दी सैंड ड्यून्स एन एक्टिव एजेंट ऑफ इरोजन एंड डिपोजिशन इन दी डेजर्ट इज विंड इन डेजर्ट यू कैन सी रॉक्स इन दी शेप ऑफ मशरूम कॉमनली कॉल्ड मशरूम रॉक्स विंड्स इरोड एंड लोअर सेक्शन ऑफ द रॉक्स मोर देन द अपर पार्ट दे आर फॉर सच रॉक्स हैव नैरोवर बेस एंड वाइडर टॉप वेन दी वाइडर ब्लोज इट लिफ्ट एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट्स सैंड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू another when it is stopped blowing the sand falls and get deposited in the low hill like structures these are called the sand dunes when the grains of the sand are very fine and light the wind can carry it over very long distance when such sands are deposited in large areas it is called luises large deposits of luises is found in china Air. Our Earth is surrounded by a huge blanket of air called atmosphere. All living being on the Earth depend on the atmosphere for their survival. It is it provides us the air we breathe and protect us from the harmful effect of the sun rays. Without this blanket of protection, we could be baked alive by the heat of the sun during the day and get frozen during the night. So it is this mass of air that had made the temperature on the earth livable. Carbon dioxide released in the atmosphere creates a greenhouse effect by the trapping the heat radiates from the earth it is therefore called a greenhouse gas and without it it was the earth would have been too cold to live in however when it its level in the atmosphere increases due to the factor smoke or car fumes the heat retained increasing the temperature of the earth this is called the global warming this raise the in the temperature causes this snow in the coldest part of the world to melt as a result the sea level raises causing floods in the coastal areas there may be drastic changes in the climate of place leading to extinction of some plant and animals in the long run composition of the atmosphere do you know that the air we take in will earth is actually mixture of many gases nitrogen and oxygen and two gases which are made up of the bulk of the atmosphere carbon dioxide helium ozone argon and hydrogen are found in lesser quantity apart from these gases tiny dust particles are also present in the earth the pie chart gives you the percentage of different constituent of the air nitrogen is the most plentiful gas in the air when we inhale we take some amount of nitrogen into our lungs and exhale it but plants need a nitrogen for their survival nitrogen 78% oxygen 21% carbon dioxide 0.03% argon 0.93% on all others are 0.04% they cannot take nitrogen directly from the air bacteria that live in the soil and roots of the some plant take nitrogen from the air and changes it form so that plant can use it when air is heated it expands become lighter and goes up cold air is denser and heavy that is why it tends to sink down when hot air rises cold air from surrounding areas rushes there to fill in the gap that is how air circulation take place oxygen is the second most plentiful gas in the air human and animals can take oxygen from the air as they breathe green plants produce oxygen during photosynthesis in this way oxygen content in air remains constant if we cut trees then this balance get disturbed carbon dioxide is the another important gas green plants use carbon dioxide to make their food and release oxygen human or animals release carbon dioxide the amount of carbon dioxide released by human or animal seems to be equal to the amount used by the plants which makes a perfect balance however the balance is upset by burning of fuels such as coal and oil they add billions of tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere each year as a result the increased volume of carbon dioxide is affecting the earth's weather and climate 
स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द एटमोसफियर आवर एटमोसफियर इज डिवाइडेड इंटू फाइव लेयर्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द अर्थ सर्फेस दियर आर ट्रोपोस्फियर स्टेटोस्फियर मीजोस्फियर थर्मोस्फियर एंड एक्जोस्फियर ट्रोपोस्फियर दिस लेयर इज द most important layer of the atmosphere its average height is 13 km the air we breathe exist here almost all the weather phenomena like rainfall fog hail storm occur in this layer stratosphere above this stratosphere lies the above the troposphere lies the stratosphere it extends up to the height of 50 km this layer is almost free from the clouds and associate weather phenomena making conditions most ideal for flying aeroplanes one of important feature of stratosphere is that it contains a layer of ozone gas we have just learned it protect us from the harmful effect of the sun rays mesosphere this is the third layer of the atmosphere it lies above the stratosphere it extends up to the height of 18 km meteorites burn up in this layer on entering from the space thermosphere is the thermo temperature thermosphere temperature arises very rapidly with the increasing height ionosphere is a part of the layer it extends between 5 300 to 400 km this layers help in the radio transmission in fact radio waves transmitted from the earth are reflected back to the earth by this least layer exosphere the uppermost layer of the atmosphere is known as exosphere this layer has very thin air light gases like helium hydrogen float into the space from here weather and climate it is going to the rain today while it be bright and sunny today how many times have we heard this from anxious cricket fans speculate speculating the fate of a one day match if we imagine our body to be a radio and the mind its speaker weather is something that fiddles with its control cobs weather is this hour to hour day to day condition of the atmosphere a you hot or humid weather may take one irritable a peasant's breeze weather make one cheerful and even plan for an outline outing weather can change dramatically from day to day however the average weather condition of a place for a long period of time present the climate of a place now do you understand why we have daily weather forecast you will be surprised to know that the earth receive only one in one tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh crore ten crore hundred crore two hundred one one receive only one in two hundred crore part of the sun energy temperature the temperature you feels every day is the temperature of the atmosphere the degree of hotness and coldness of the air is known as temperature the temperature of the atmosphere changes not only between the day and the night but also from season to season summers they are hotter than winters the an important factor that influence the disturbance of the temperature is insulation insulation is the incoming solar energy intercepted by the earth the amount of insulation decreases from the equator towards the pole therefore the temperature decreases in the same manner now do you understand why poles are covered with the snow if the tem earth temperature reaches too high it would become too warm for crops to grow temperature in cities is much higher than that of village the concrete and the metal buildings have the asphalt of roads get heated up during the day this heat is released during the night also the crowded high rise buildings of the cities trap the warm air and thus raise the temperature of the city the standard unit of measuring temperature is degree celsius city was invented by andre celsius on the celsius scale the water freezes at 0 degree celsius and boils at 100 degree celsius air pressure you will be surprised to know that air above us presses us and a great force on our body however we don't even feel it this is because air presses us from all the direction in our body exist a counter pressure air pressure is defined as the pressure exerted by the weight of the air on the earth surface as we go up and 
layer of atmosphere the pressure falls rapidly the air pressure is the highest at sea level and decreases with the height horizontally the disturbance of air pressure is influenced by the temperature of air at a given place in areas where temperature is high the air gets heated and raises this creates a low pressure area the low pressure is associated with the cloudy skies and wet weather in areas where low pressures and air is cold the it is therefore heavy heavy air sinks and create a high pressure areas high pressure is associated with clear and sunny skies the air always move from high pressure areas to low pressure areas on the moon there is no air hence no air pressure a student have to wear a special protective space suit filled with air when they go to the moon if they did not wear this space suits the counter pressure exerted by the body of the atmosphere would make the blood vessels burst the student could would bleed wind the movement of air from the high pressure areas to low pressure areas is called winds you can see wind at work as it blows dry leaves down the pavement or up roots trees during a storm sometimes when the winds blow gently you can even see it blowing away smoke or fine dust at times wind can be so strong that it is difficult to walk against it you must have experienced it in not too easy to hold an umbrella on windy day think of some other examples when strong winds have created a wind is named from the direction from which it blows example the wind blowing from the west is called westerly problems for you winds can be broadly divided into three types permanent winds the trade winds westerlies and easterlies are the permanent winds which blows constant constantly throughout the year in a particular direction seasonally winds these winds change their direction in different season for example monsoon in india local winds these blows only during a particular period of the day or year in a small area for example land and sea breeze do you recall the hot and dry local wind of northern plains of india it is called loo cyclone fury odisha located on the eastern sea coast of india is prone to cyclone that originated in the bay of mangal on 17 18 october 1999 cyclone hit five district of the state another super cyclone occurred on the 29 october 1999 that was devastated large proportion portion of the state the damage caused were mainly due to the three factors wind velocity rain and tidal surge the wind of up to 6 260 km per hour lasted for over 36 hours these high velocity winds uprooted trees and damaged the kucha houses rooftops of the several industrial sheds and other houses were also blown away power supply and the telecom lines snapped completely heavy rains occurred under the influence of the cyclone of 3 days continuously these rains led to flooding in the major rivers of the odisha the cyclone winds caused tidal waves that swept 20 km inland and brought massive destruction to the coastal areas the 7 to 10 meter high tide were intruded suddenly and the caused massive damage to the standing paddy crops the cyclone originated as depression in the gulf of the thailand near east of port blair on 25 october 1999 and gradually moved in a north westward direction it intensified into a super cyclone and hit the area between irasama and balikunda in the odisha in 20 on 29 october at 10:30 pm 10:30 am 
सुपर साइक्लोन स्वेप्ट दी एंटायर कोस्ट ऑफ उड़ीसा इंक्लूडिंग दी सिटी ऑफ भुवनेश्वर एंड कटक एंड 28 कोस्टल टाउन्स अबाउट 13 मिलियन पीपल्स वर अफेक्टेड अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ लाइव स्टॉक्स वर किल्ड स्टैंडिंग क्रॉप्स ऑफ पैडी वेजिटेबल्स एंड फ्रूट्स वर हैवीली डैमेज ड्यू टू सेलिनेशन कॉज्ड बाय टाइडल सर्च लार्ज ट्रैक्ट्स ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर लैंड हैव टर्नड इनफर्टाइल लार्ज ट्रैक्ट्स ऑफ सॉल टीक्स एंड बैंबूस प्लांटेशंस हैव डिसअपीयर्ड the mangrove forest between Pradeep and Konark, Konark vanished. Moisture when, wa uh, wa uh, when water evaporates from land and different water bodies, it becomes water vapor moisture in the air at any time. It is known as humidity. When air is full of water vapors, we call it humid day. As the air gets warmer, its capacity to hold the water vapors increases and so it becomes more and more humid on a humid day cloth takes longer to dry and swept from our body does not evaporate easily making us feel very com uncomfortable when the water vapors raises it starts cooling the water vapors condenses causing formation of droplets of water clouds are just masses of the such water droplets when these droplets of water become too heavy to float in the earth then they come down as precipitation jet planes flying in the sky leave a white trail behind them the moisture from the engines condenses we see trials of this condensed moisture for some e time when there are no air movement to disturb it precipitation that comes down to the earth in liquid form is called rain most of the ground water become from rain water plants help preserve water when trees on hills slides and cut rain water flows down the bare mountain and co can cause flooding of low laying areas on the basis of mechanism there are three types of rainfall the conventional rainfall the orographic rainfall and the cyclonic rainfall rainfall is very important for the survival of plants and animals it brings fresh water to the earth surface it rainfall is less water scarcity and drought occur on the other hand if it is more flood take place other forms of precipitations are snow, sleet, hail. Ozone, troposphere, which of the following layer is the atmosphere is free from the following layer, the atmosphere is free from the clouds. Mesosphere. <coughs> When the precipitations come down to the earth liquid form, it is called rain. So easy. Water. When you think of water, what image come to your mind? You think of rivers, the waterfalls, the peter matter of raindrops, water in your taps. Children love to float water boats in the rain puddles. By noon, the puddles vanish. Where does the water go? The sun heat causes evaporation of water into vapors. Trentium. It is an artificial enclosure for keeping small houses plant small house plants when the water vapors cool down it condense and forms cloud from there it may fall on the land or sea in form of rain snow or sleet the process by which water continuously changes its form and circulates between ocean atmosphere and land is known as the water cycle our earth is like a train terrarium the wa same water that existed centuries ago still exists today the water used to irrigate a field in haryana may have flowed down the amazon river a hundred year ago the major Sources of fresh uh, water are the river, pond, spring and the glacier. The water, the ocean, ocean bodies and the sea contain salty water. The water of the ocean is sli salty or sline as it contains large. Our 
amount of dissolved salts most of the salts is sodium chloride or the common table salt that you eat nacl salty is the amount of salt in grams present in 1000 gram of water and the average salinity of the ocean is 35 parts per 1000 we all know that 3/4 of the earth surface is covered by water if there is more water than land on uh, this earth why do so many countries face water scarcity in all the water on earth available to us the following table give us the distribution of water in percentage ocean 97.3 percent saline water ice caps 0.2 percent ground water 0.68 fresh water lakes 0.009 percent inland seas and salt lakes 0.009 percent atmosphere 0.009 percent rivers 0.001 percent dead sea in israel has salinity of 340 grams per liter of water swimmers can float in it because the increased salt content make it dense water distribution can be demonstrated by a simple activity water is absolutely essential for survival water alone can quench our thirst when we are thirsty now don't you think we are wasting a precious resources when we use water careless ocean circulation there is something magical about walking bare feet on the sea shores the wet sands on the beach the cool breeze the sea birds the smell of the salt in the air and the music of the waves everything is so fascinating unlike the calm water of ponds and lakes ocean waters keep moving continuously it is never still the movement that occur in ocean can be broadly categorized as waves tides and currents the Ma- march 22 is celebrated as world water day when need to conserve water in reinforced in different ways march 22 bihar day also pacific question waves are formed when winds scarcely across the ocean surface the stronger the winds blow the bigger the waves become waves when you are playing through a ball on the beach and the ball falls into the water what happens it is fun to watch how the ball gets washed back to the shore by the waves when the water on the surface of the ocean rises and falls alternately they are called waves tsunami is japanese word that means harbor waves as the harbor get destroyed whenever there is tsunami during a storm the winds blowing at very high speed from huge waves this may called tremendous destruction an earthquake a volcanic eruption or a underwater landslide can shift large amount of ocean water as a result a huge tidal waves called tsunami that may be as high as 15 meter in form the largest tsunami ever measured was 150 meter high these waves travel at a speed of more than 700 km per hour the tsunami of 2004 caused wide spread damage in the coastal areas of india the indra point in the andaman and nicobar island got submerged after the tsunami tsunami the earth's pendulum tsunami or the harbor waves struck havoc in the indian ocean on 26 26 December 2004 the waves was the recently of the earthquake that had it epicenter close to the western boundaries of sumatra the magnitude of the earth was 90 on the richter scale as the indian plates went under the burma plate 
there was an sudden movement of the sea floor causing the earthquake the ocean floors were depleted by amount of 10 to 20 meter and tidal in a down wardly direction a huge mass of ocean water flow to fill the gap that was being created by the displacement this mark the withdrawal of the water mass from the coastal lines of the land masses in the south and southeast asia after the thrusting of the indian plates below the burma plate the water masses rushed back towards the coast line the tsunami travels at the speed of around 800 km per hour compared to the speed of commercial aircraft craft and completely washed away some of the islands of the Indian Ocean. The Indra Point is the Andaman and Nicobar Island that marked the southernmost point of the India got completely submerged as the waves move from the earthquake epicenter from the Sumatra towards the Andaman and Nicobar Island. The Sri Lanka and the waves length decreases and decreasing depth of water. The travel speed also declined from 700 km to 900 km per hour to less than 70 km per hour. Tsunami waves travel up to uh, a depth of 3 km from the coastal killing more than 10,000 people and affected more than lack of houses. In India, the most affected were the coastal areas of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Puducherry and the Andaman and Nicobar Island. While the earthquake cannot be predicted in advance, it is possible to give a 3-hour notice of a potential tsunami. Such early warning systems are in place across the Pacific Ocean, but not a Indian Ocean. Tsunami are rare in the Indian Ocean as seismic activity is less as compared to the Pacific. Destruction caused by tsunami on Tamil Nadu coast. The tsunami that ravaged the South and Southeast Asian coast in the December 2004 is the most devastating tsunami in the last several hundred years. The large damage caused to the life and property was similar a result of lack of monitoring. The early warning system and no knowledge among the coast developers of Indian Ocean. The first indication that tsunami is approached in the rapid withdrawal of water from the coastal region followed by destructive waves when this happened on the coast instead of people going to high ground they started assembling at the coast to view the miracle as a consequence there was a large causality of curious on lookers when they have gigantic wave tsunami struck tide the rhythmic rise and fall of ocean water twice in a day is called tide. It is high tide when the water covers much of shores by the raising to its highest level. It is low tide when water falls to its lowest level and recede from the shore. The strong gravitational pull exerted by the sun and the moon on the earth's surface causes the tide. The water of the earth closest to the moon get pulled under the influence of the moon's gravitational force and causes high tide. During the full moon and a new moon day, the sun, the moon and the earth are in the same line and the water are the highest. These tides are called spring tides, but when the moon in e is its first and the last quarter the ocean water gets drawn in diagonally, uh, diagonally opposite direction by the gravitational pull of the sun and moon resulted in low tide. These tides are called neap tide, neap tide and spring tide. High tides help in navigation. They rises the water level closest to the shore. This helps the ships to arrive at harbor more easily. The high tides also help in fishing. Many more fish come closest to the shore during the high tide. This helps, uh, this enables fishermen to get a plentiful catch. The rise and fall of water due to tides is being used to generate electricity in some places. Ocean current. Ocean currents are streams of the water flowing constantly on the ocean surface in definite direction. The ocean currents may be warm or cold. Generally, the warm ocean currents originated near the 
equator and move towards the pole the cold currents carried water from polar or higher latitudes to the tropical or lower latitudes the labrador current ocean uh, current in the cold uh, labrador current uh, uh, near canada canada is a cold current while the gulf stream is the warmer current usa passes uh, e east of us uh, the ocean uh, current influence the temperature condition of the areas warm currents bring about warm temperature over the land surface the areas where the warm and cold currents meet provide the best fishing ground of the world see around the japan and eastern coast of north america are the such example the a area where warm and cold current meet also experience foggy and weather it difficult for navigation what is it generally the warm motion current solution equator rhythmic rise and falls of ocean water twice in it is called tide so natural vegetation and wild life salima was excited about the summer camp she was attending she had gone to visit manali in himachal pradesh along with her classmates she recall how surprising she was to see the changes in the land form and natural vegetation as the bus climbed higher and higher the deep jungles of the foothills comprising stall and sea slowly disappeared she could see tall trees with thick pointed leaves and cool shaped canopies on the mountain slopes she learned that those were conifrage trees she noticed blooms of bright flowers on tall trees these were the redo denerus from manali as she was traveling upon the rohtang pass she saw that the land was covered with short grasses and snow in some places from salima's observation we sur- uh, surmise that there is a close relationship between height of land and the character of vegetation which the changes in the height the climate changes and that changes naturally vegetation the growth of vegetation depend on temperature and moisture it also depend on the factor like slope and thickness of soil the type of thickness of natural vegetation vary from place to place because the vegetation in this factors natural vegetation is generally classified it into three broad categories as follow forest which grow uh, where temperature and rainfall are plentiful to support a tree cover depending upon this factor dense and open forest are grown grassland which grow in the region of moderate rainfall shrubs thornly shrubs and shrubs grow in the dry region Salima was sharing her experience of Himalayan trip with her father. Her father visited various places in the world. He told Salima about his observation of the variety of vegetation in different part of the different continent. He mentioned about the coniferous forest in the sub-polar region, thornly bushes in the desert, thick tropical hardwood forest in the humid region, and many more. Salima realized the Himalayans have almost all variety of vegetation which one can see while moving from equator to the polar region changes is in the type of natural vegetation occur mainly because of changes of the climate condition let us know let us get to know the different types of natural vegetation of the world with their characteristics feature and wildlife in habiting there The tropical evergreen forest in Brazil is so enormous that it is like the lungs of the earth. Tropical evergreen forest. They are, these forests are called tropical rain forest. These uh, thick forest occurs in the region near the equator and close to the tropics. These regions are hot and receive heavy rainfall throughout the year as there is no particular dry season the trees do not shed their leaves together this is reason 
दे आर कॉल्ड एवर ग्रीन द थिक कैनोपीज ऑफ द क्लोजली स्पेस ट्रीज डू नॉट अलाउ द सनलाइट टू पेनीट्रेट इन साइड द फॉरेस्ट इवन इन द डे टाइम हार्डवुड ट्रीज लाइक रोजवुड इबोनी मैंगवनी आर कॉमन ट्रीज एनाकोंडा वन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स लार्जेस्ट स्नेक इज फाउंड इन द ट्रॉपिकल रेन फॉरेस्ट इट कैन किल एंड ईट अ लार्ज एनिमल सच एज क्रोकोडाइल ट्रॉपिकल डिसीडियस फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिकल डिसीडियस आर द मानसून फॉरेस्ट फाउंड इन द लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ द इंडिया नॉर्दर्न ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड इन सेंट्रल अमेरिका दिस रीजन एक्सपीरियंस सीजनल चेंजेस ट्रीज शेड देयर लीव्स इन द ड्राई सीजन टू कंजर्व वाटर एंड द हार्डवुड ट्रीज फाउंड इन दिस फॉरेस्ट आर सील टीक नीम शीशम हार्डवुड ट्रीज आर एक्सट्रीमली यूजफुल फॉर मेकिंग फर्नीचर ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन मटेरियल टाइगर लॉयन एलिफेंट लंगूरूज मंकीज आर कॉमन एनिमल्स ऑफ दिस रीजन टेम्परेट एवरग्रीन फॉरेस्ट द टेम्परेट एवरग्रीन फॉरेस्ट आर लोकेटेड इन द मिड लैटिट्यूटनल कोस्टल रीजन दे आर कॉमनली फाउंड अलॉन्ग द ईस्टर्न मार्जिन ऑफ द कॉन्टिनेंट्स इन साउथ ईस्ट यू एस ए साउथ चाइना एंड इन साउथ ईस्ट ब्राजील दे कंप्राइज बोथ हार्ड एंड सॉफ्ट वुड trees like oak pine eucalyptus etc temperate deciduous forest as we go towards higher latitudes there are some more temperate deciduous forests they uh, these are found in the northeastern part of usa china new zealand chile and also found in the coastal region of western europe they shed their leaves in the dry season they are common trees are oak ashes beeches etc deer forest wolves are the animal commonly found bird like pheasants monarchs are also found here monals mediterranean mediterranean vegetation you have learned that most of the east and north east margins of the continent are covered by the temperate evergreen and deciduous trees the west and the south of margins of the continent are different they have mediterranean vegetations it is mostly found in the areas uh, uh, around the mediterranean sea in europe south africa and asia hence the name this kind of vegetation is also found outside the actual mediterranean region in the california in the us southwest africa southern west mediterranean trees adapt themselves to dry summers with the help of their thick bark and wax coated leaves which help them reduce transpiration mediterranean region are also known as orchard of the world for their fruit veg culti fruit cultivation south south america and the southwest australia these regions are marked for the hot summers and the mild rainy winters citrus fruits such as orange figs olives and grapes are commonly cultivated here because people have moved the natural vegetation in order to cultivate what they want to they isn't very wild life here coniferous forest coniferous is the Uh, in the higher latitude 50 degree and 70 degree of north hemisphere the spectacular coniferous are found there are also called as taiga these forests are also in the higher latitude there is are the trees which salima found in the himalayas in the abu dens there are tall soft to the evergreen trees the woods of these trees are very useful for making pulps which is used for manufacturing paper and the newspaper match boxes and packing boxes are also made from soft wood cedar pine kear are the important variety of the trees in this forest silver fox mink polar bears are the common animal found here taiga means the pure or untouched in the russian language tundra and taiga in the frigid zone frigid zone divided into two parts tundra and taiga 
ग्रासलैंड ट्रॉप ट्रॉपिकल ग्रासलैंड दिस अकर्स ऑन आइदर साइड ऑफ द इक्वेटर एंड एक्सटेंड टिल द ट्रॉपिक्स दिस वेजिटेशन ग्रो इन द एरियाज ऑफ मॉडरेट टू लो अमाउंट ऑफ रेनफॉल द ग्रास कैन ग्रो वेरी टॉल अबाउट टू थ्री टू फोर मीटर इन दी हाइट सवाना ग्रास लैंड ऑफ अफ्रीका आर ऑफ दिस टाइप्स एलिफेंट जेबराज जिराफ डियर्स लैपर्स आर कॉमन इन दी ट्रॉपिकल ग्रास लैंड टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड दीज आर फाउंड इन दी मिड लैटिट्यूटनल जोन एंड इन दी इंटीरियर पार्ट ऑफ द कॉन्टिनेंट विजुअली ग्रास हियर इज शॉर्ट एंड न्यूट्रीशियस वाइल्ड बाइलोज बाइसन एलिट्रोप्स आर द कॉमन इन दी टेम्परेट रीजन थ्रोनली पुशिज देयर आर फाउंड इन दी ड्राई डेजर्ट लाइक द रीजन ट्रॉपिकल डेजर्ट आर लोकेटेड ऑन दी वेस्टर्न मार्जिनल ऑफ द कॉन्टिनेंट द वेजिटेशन कवर इन दी स्केयर हियर बिकॉज ऑफ इसका स्कैनिटी रेन एंड स्क्रॉचिंग हीट आइडेंटिफाई द डेजर्ट रीजन इन दी वर्ल्ड मैप कैन यू नेम द ग्रेट डेजर्ट ऑफ इंडिया था डेजर्ट नेम सम ऑफ द कॉमन एनिमल्स ऑफ द डेजर्ट विच यू हैव लर्न अर्लियर कैमल Uh, grasslands are known by the different names in the different region tropical grassland east africa savanna brazil campos venezuela llanos temperate grassland argentina pampas north america pyrenees south africa wild uh, central asia steppe australia downs if you reach the polar region you will found the place extremely cold the growth of natural vegetation is very limited only mosses lichens and very small shrubs are found it grow during the very short summer this is called tundra type of vegetation this vegetation is found in the pole or areas of europe asia and north america the animals have thick fur and thick skin to protect themselves from the cold climatic conditions seals warloos musk oxen arctic wolf polar bear and and the snow foxes are some of the animal found here salima's father showed here some photographs of thick forest in some of other the photographs salima observed that peoples were cutting trees and clearing the forest her father explained that the local people wanted their lands for uh, agriculture and settlement so they cleaned cleared up the forest salima started wondering if all forest were cleared then where will the wild life go will the forest take it original shape again if people go on cutting the trees like this will the be enough oxygen water vapor timber fruits nuts available in the forest do you agree with salima hold a discussion with your friends about the depletion of our diversified flora and fauna suggest some measure to conserve them human environment settlement transport and communication in chapter 1 you have learned that early human beings depended uh, entirely on the nature of food clothing and shelter but with the time they learned new skill to grow food build homes and develop better means of transport and communication in this way they modified the environment where they lived settlements are placed by the people build their homes the place where a building uh, or a settlement develop is called its site the natural condition for selection of an ideal site are favorable climate uh, availability of water suitable land fertile soil early human being lived on trees and in caves when they started to grow crops it became necessary to live a permanent home the settlements grew near the river valleys as water was available uh, available and land was fertile with the development of trade commerce and manufacturing human settlements became larger settlements flourishing and civilization developed near the river valleys do you recall the name of civilization that grow near the bank of indus tigris nile and hangho yellow river uh, indus valley civilization uh, yellow river civilization 
Egyptian civilization, Euphrates and Tigris river. Uh, these are uh, Mesopotamian civilization, Mesopotamian civilizations, uh, Egyptian civilization and uh, Hongi river in China. Uh, yellow river civilizations uh, settlements can be permanent or temporary settlements which are occupied for a short time are called temporary settlements the people living in deep forest hot and cold deserts and the mountains often dwell in such temporary settlements they participated in hunting gathering shifting cultivation and transhumance however more and more settlements today are permanent settlement in these settlements people build home to live in it uh, transhumanence it is a seasonal movement of people people who rear animals move in search of new pastures according to change in season it was mary birthday party she and her friends were waiting for gurmeet to arrive so that mary could cut the cake at last gurpreet arrived tried cuffing and visiting she explained that traffic jams was terrible mary's mother mr thomas patted gurpreet's back and signed of the population in our city prasad had recently come from his village he asked why do we have such traffic jams and such population in the cities the number of vehicles is increasing day by day due to the growing population in the city mary's father mr thompson replied mary asked then why are the people coming to the cities her mother replied they are looking for job better education and medical facilities mary's further inquired if so many people keep coming to the city where will all the people live mr thanos said thomas said that is why you see so many slums and squatted settlement where people stay in congested and unhygienic condition shortage of power and water supply are common problems in the cities prasad said our village may not have big cinema halls well equipped schools and good hospitals but we have lot of open spaces and fresh air to breathe in when my grandfather was sick we have to rush him to the city hospital from the above uh, conversation we can identify two different pictures of settlements the ruler and the urban settlement the village are ruler settlement by where peoples are engaged in activity like agriculture fishing forestry crafts work and trading etc ruler settlements can be compact or scattered a compact settlement is a closely built areas of dwellings where wherever flat lands are available in scattered settlement dwelling are spaced over an extra extensive areas this type of settlements are mostly found in hilly tracts thick forest and regions of the extreme climate in rural areas people build houses to suit their environment in regions heavy rain fall they have a slatting roof places where water accumulates in the rainy season the houses are constructed on the raising uh, platform or slates thick mud walled houses with thatched roofs are very common in the area of hot climate local material like stone mud clay straw etc are used to construct houses the towns are small and the cities are large urban settlements in urban areas the people are engaged in manufacturing trading and service name some of the villages town and the cities of your state transport transport is the means by which peoples and good moves in the earlier days it took a great deal of time to travel long distance people had to walk and used animal to carry their goods invention of the wheel made transport easier while the passage of time different means of transport develop but even today people use any for animals for transport uh, igloo 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 Uh, in our country donkey mules uh, burlocks and camels are common in the andes mountain of the south africa alas are uh, alamas are used as ya uh, as are yaks in the tibet the early traders from the other countries used to take several months to reach india they took either the sea routes or the land routes aeroplane have made 
travel faster now it takes only 6 to 8 hours to travel india to europe modern means of transport has saves time and energy there uh, the four major means of transports are roadways railways waterways and airways there are several national and steel highways in India. The latest developed in the India is the construction of expressways. The golden quadrilateral connects Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai and Kolkata roadways. The most commonly used means of transport especially for shortened distance are roads. They can melted pucha and unmetalled kacha. The Planes have a dense network of roads. Roads have also been built in the terrain like desert, forest and even like mountains. Manali Le Highway in the Himalaya mountains is one of the highest roads in the world. Roads built underground are called subways underpass. Flyover are built over the raised structures. Do you know the train from Xi'an to Lihasna run at the altitude of 4000 meter above sea level the and the highest point is 5072 meter railways the railways carrying heavy goods and people over long distance quickly and cheaply the invention of the steam engine and the industrial revolution help in speedy development of rail transport diesel and electric engine have largely replaced the steam of engines in space super fast trains have been introduced to make the journey faster the railway network is well developed over the plain areas advanced technology skills have enabling lying on the railway lines in difficult mountain trains also but these are much fewer in the norm uh, number Indian railway network is well developed it is largest in Asia the Trans-Siberian Railways is longest rail system connecting St. Petersburg in the Western Russia to Voldivosko on the Pacific coast waterways you have already learned that since early days water ways were used for transportation waterways are the cheapest for carrying heavy and bulky goods over long distance they are mainly of two types inland waterways and sea routes navigable rivers and lakes are used as in lands waterways some of the important inland waterways are the ganga brahmaputra river system the great lakes in north america and the river nile in the africa sea routes oceanic routes are mostly used for transporting merchandise and goods from one country to another these routes are connected with the ports some of the important ports of the world are the singapore mumbai in asia new york Los Angeles in North America, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil in South Africa, Durban and Cape Town in Africa, Sydney in Australia, London and Rottenham in Europe. Airways This is the fastest way of transport developed in the early 20th century it is also the most expensive due to the high cost of fuel air traffic is adversely affected by bad weather like fog and storm it is the only mode of transport to reach the remote most remote and distant area especially where there is no road and railways helicopter are extremely useful in the most inaccessible areas and in time of calamity for rescuing people and disturbing food water cloth and medicines some of important airports are delhi mumbai new york london paris frankfurt airport uh, paris and cairo in egypt Communication. Communication is the process of conveying message to other. With the development of technology, human have devised new and fast mode of communication. The figure 7.0 explains the evolution of communication system. The advancement in the field of communication has brought some brought about an information revolution in the world. Different mode of communication are used to provide information to educate as well as to entertain. Through newspapers, radios and television, we can communicate with a large number of people. They are therefore called the mass media. 
the satellite have made communication even faster satellites have helped in the oil exploration survey of the forest underground waters minerals wealth weather forecast and the disaster warning now we can send electronic mails or email through internet wireless telephonic communication through cell phones have become very popular today internet not only provide us with the wider information and interaction but has also made our lives more comfortable now we can reserve tickets for railways airways and even cinemas and hotels sitting at the home with this uh, kind uh, waterways network table under the ground subways which type of transport is suitable to reach an island ship which vehicles does does not pollute the environment cycle so easy human environment interaction the tropical and the subtropical region renika is excited shrikant ankur was home after gap of nearly 4 month he was a wild life photographer and traveled widely renuka interesting in the wild life with forest began at early age when her uncles introduced her to the books on nature pictures of distant land and people who live here always fascinated her in this picture renuka can see peoples from the different part of the world from the dry desert some from the frozen lands and some from hot wet rain forest they look over different from me observed renuka they may look different but they share the same basic need of life food clothing and shelter explained shrikant's uncle their children do the same things as you probably do they play games squirrel sometimes and then make up sing dance and help the families with various things that need to be done they live closer to the nature and very early in their lives they have learned to care for nature they learned how to catch fish and how to collect material from the forest when uh, chapter 8 9 10 you have learned uh, learn about the life of people in the different natural regions of the world when a spanish spanish explorer discovered the amazon river uh, they were attacked by a group of local tribes wearing headgears and grass skirts these people reminded them of fierce tribes of women warriors known as ancient roman empire as the amazon hence name the amazon local tribe groups wearing head gears and grass skirts these people remind them of fierce tribes of women warriors known in known in the ancient roman empire as the amazons they are named amazon life in the amazon basin before learning from about the amazon basin let us took at the map notice that the tropical region lies very close to the equator between 10 degree north and 10 degree south so it is referred to as equatorial region the river amazon refer through this region notice how it is flow from the mountains to the west to reaches the atlantic ocean to the east the place where a river flows into another body of water is called the river mouth numerous tributaries join the amazon river to form the amazon basin the river basin drain proportional of brazil part of peru bolivia ecuador colombia and a small part of venezuela name the countries of basin through which equator passes ecuador colombia brazil equator passes okay Amazon River 
Do you know the Amazon basin stretches directly on the equator and in characterized by hot and wet climate throughout the year both day and night are almost equally humid hot and humid the skin feels sticky it rains almost every day that too without much warning the day temperatures are high and very humid at night the temperatures goes down but the humid remains high rain forest as it is rains heavily in this region thick forest grows the forest are in thick so thick that the dense roof created by leaves and branches goes not allow the sunlight to reach the ground the ground remains dark and damp only shade tolerant vegetation may grow here or child bromelains grow as plant parasite the rain forest in rich in fauna bird such as toucans humming blood macaw and with their brilliant coloring plumage overside bills for eating them for them different from birds we are commonly seen in india these birds are make loud noise in the forest animal like monkeys sloth and eating and eating tapirs are found here various species of reptiles and snakes also thrives in these jungles crocodile snake python abound anaconda and bow uh, constrictor are some of these species besides the basin in the home of thousands of species of insects several species of fishes including the flesh eating piranhas fish in also found in the river this basin is uh, thus extraordinary rich in the variety of life found here tapir bro Uh, bromeliads are special plants that store water in their leaves animal like frog use these pockets of water for laying their eggs people of the rainforest people grow most of their food in the small areas after clearing some trees in the forest while men hunt and fish along the river women take care of the crops they mainly grow tropica pineapple sweet potato as hunting and fishing are certain in the woman who keeps their families alive by feeding them the vegetables they grow and they practice slash and burn agriculture slash and burn is a way of cultivating land where farmers clean a piece of land by smashing or cutting down trees and bushes they are are they burnt which release the nutrients so into the soil now crops are grown in this cleaned airy field for a few years after repeatedly using the patch of land the soil loses its nutrients so it is abandoned then they clean another plot of land planted land to plant in the mean time young trees grown in the walled field in this way soil fertility is restored people can then return to it and start cultivating it again the staple food uh, is monaki also as cassava that grow under the ground like the potato they also eat queens ants and eggs sacs clashes crop like coffee maize coa cocoa are also grown the rainforest provide a lot of wood for the houses some families live he uh some fam uh, some families live in the thatched houses shaped like the beehives there are other uh, large apartment like houses called maloka with a steeply stating roof life of the people of the amazon basin is slowly changing in order older days the heart of the forest could be reached only by navigating the river in 1970 the trans amazon highway made all part of the rainforest accessible aircraft and helicopter are also used for reaching various places the indigenous population was pushed out from the areas and forced to settle in the new areas where they continue to practice their distinction way of farming the development activities are leading to gradual destruction of the biological diverse rainforest it is estimated that a large area of the rainforest has disappearing annually in the amazon
Amazon basin. You can see that this destruction of the forest has made much wider implications the top soils is washed away as the rain fall and the forest lush forest turn into a barren landscape life in the Ganga, Ganga Brahmaputra basin the tributaries of the river Ganga and the Brahmaputra together form the Ganga Brahmaputra basin in the Indian subcontinent the basin lies in the subtropical region that is situated between 10 degree north to 13 degree south latitude the tributaries of the river Ganga like the Ghagra uh, the Son the Chambal the Gandak the Koshi and the tributaries of Brahmaputra drains it look at the atlas and find the name of some of the tributaries of the river Brahmaputra the pay, uh, uh, the uh, plains of the Ganga and the Brahmaputra the mountains and the foothills of the Hima, uh, Himalayas uh, and the Sundarban deltas are the main features of this basin. Oxbow Lake dot the plain areas. The areas is dominated by the monsoon climate. The monsoon brings rain from mid Jan to mid September. The summers are hot and the winters cool. Look at the map of India. Find out the states in which Ganga Brahmaputra basin lies. Uh, Uttarakhand, uh, he or our Gamba Brahmaputra Basin, so all its states name, uh, Uttarakhand uh, uh, or uh, Haryana, Uttarakhand, Delhi, uh, Haryana, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam. The basin areas are varied tropically. The environment plays a dominant role in distribution of the population. The mountain areas with the steep slopes have inhospitable trains. There less numbers of people live in the mountains area of Ganga Brahmaputra basin. The plain areas provide the most suitable land for the human habitation the soil is fertile agriculture is main occupation of the people where flat land is available to grow crops the density of population of the plains is very high the main crop is padding since cultivators of paddy required sufficient water it grew in the area where the amount of rainfall is high population density it means the number of persons that live in the one square kilometer of area the population density of Uttarakhand is 189 while the population density of West Bengal is 1029 and Bihar is 1102 wheat maize sorghum gram millets are the other crops that are grown crash crops like sugar cane jute are also grown banana plantation are seen in some areas of the plain like west mongol assam tea is grown in the plantation silk is produced through the cultivation of silk worm in the parts of bihar and assam in the mountain and hills where the slope are gently crops are grown in the traces the vegetation cover of the area varies according to the type of landform. In the Ganga and Brahmaputra plain, tropical deciduous trees grown along with teak, salt and people. Thick bamboo groups are common in the Brahmaputra plain. The delta is covered with the mangrove forest in parts of Uttarakhand, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh coniferous trees like pine, deer and the fir can be seen because the climate is cool and slopes are steeped. Traces are built on steep slopes to create flat surface on which crops are grown. The slopes is removed so that water does not run off rapidly. There is a variety of wildlife in the basin. Elephant, tiger, deers and monkeys are common. The one horn rhinoceros is found in the Brahmaputra plain. In the delta area, Bengal tiger and crocodiles are found. Aquatic life abound in the fresh river water. The lake and the bay of Bengal is the most popular variety of the fish are drohu 
Ketla and Hilsa. Fish and rice is the staple diet of the people living in the area. Lake, a source of livelihood. Binod. In the fresh water of the river Ganga and river Brahmaputra, a variety of dolphin locally called Susu, also called blind dolphin is found. The presence of Susu is an indication of the health of the river. The untreated industrial and urban waste with the harm amount of chemical are killing this species. Gangetic dolphin are national fish. Uh, lake and source of livelihood. Binod is a fisherman living in the Matwali Mo village of Bihar. He is a very he is a happy man today with his efforts of the fellow fishermen Ravinder Kishore, Rajiv and others. He cleaned the Mo or the Oxbow Lake to cultivate different varieties of fish. The local weeds Valeria's Haridiva that grown in the lake in the food of fish, the land around the lake is fertile. He sows crops such as paddy, maize and pulses in these fields. The buffalo used to plong the land. The community is satisfied. There is enough fish catch from the river, enough fish to eat and enough fish to sell in the market. They have even begun supply to the neighboring towns. The community is living in the living in harmony with nature. As long as the pollutants from nearby town do not find their way into the lake water, the fish cultivation will not face any treat. Do you know to accelerate the efforts to achieve universal sanitation coverage and to put force on sanitation, the Prime Minister of India launched the Swachh Bharat Mission on 2 October 2014. The Gangetic Brahmaputra Plain have several big towns and cities. The cities of Allahabad, Kanpur, Varanasi, Lucknow, Patna, Kolkata, all with the population of more than 10 lakhs are located along the river Ganga. The vast uh, the wastewater from these towns and industries are discharged into river. This leads to the pollution of the river. All uh, to conserve the river Ganga Namani Namani Ganga program has been initiated. The all four ways of transport are well developed in the Ganga Brahmaputra basin. In the plain areas, the roadways and railways transport of the people from one place to another. The waterways is an effective means of transport, particularly along the rivers. Kolkata is an important port of the river Hooghly. The plain areas also has a large number of airport. Tourism is another important activity of the basin. Taj Mahal on the bank of river Yamuna in Nagra. Allahabad on the confluence of the river Ganga and Yamuna. Buddhist stupas in Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Lucknow with its uh, Imambras, Assam and Kaziranga and Manas with the wildlife centuries and Arunachal Pradesh with a distinct tribunal culture are some of places worst, uh, worst, uh, worst to be uh, worst a visit these are all these are simple questions life in the desert in chapter 5 you have seen that water means life to plants animals and people it is difficult for anyone to live in place where there is no water to drink where there is no grass for their cattle to feed on and where there is no water to help the crops to grow. We will now learn about the places in the world where people have learned to cope, the, uh, cope with extreme harsh temperature. In some places as hot as fire and some as cold as ice. These are the desert areas in of the world. These are characterized by the low rainfall, scanty vegetation and extreme temperature. Depending on the temperature, there can be hot desert or cold desert. The people inhabited these lands whenever little water is available to practice agriculture. Desert. It is an arid region characterized by extreme high or low temperature and house carry vegetation the hot desert Sahara 
look at the map of the world and continent of africa locate the sahara desert converging covering covering a large part of north africa it is the world's largest desert it has an area of around 8.54 million square kilometer do you recall that india has an area of 3.28 million square kilometer the sahara desert touches 11 countries these are algeria chad egypt libya mali mauritania morocco niger sudan tunisia western sahara when you think of a desert the picture that immediately comes in your mind is that of sand but beside the vast stretch of sand the sahara desert is covered uh, with there are also gravel plains and elevated plateaus with bare rock surface these rocky surface may be more than 2500 meter high at some places we you will be surprised to know that present day sahara once used to be a lush green plains clay plenty in sahara desert show that there used to be river with the crocodile elephant lion giraffe or cheats sheep cattle and goats were common animal but the change in the climate has changed it to a very hot and dry region sahara desert climate the climate of sahara desert is scorching hot and parched dry it has a short rainy season the sky is cloudless and clear here the moisture evaporates faster than it accumulates days are unbelievable hot the temperatures during the day may soar as high as 50 degrees celsius heating up the land and bare rocks which in turn radiates heat making everything around hot the night may be freezing cold with the temperature nearing 0 degree celsius al aziza in the sahara desert south of tripoli libya recorded the highest temperature of 57.7 degree celsius in 1922 flora and fauna vegetation in sahara includes cactus dates palm and acacias in some places there are oases green island with date palm surrounding them camel hens jackals foxes scorpions may varieties of uh, snakes and lizards are prominent animal species living here scientists have actually found a skeleton of fish in this desert what could i point people the sahara despite its harsh climate have been inhabited by various groups of people who pursue different activities among them are the budois and the tugris these groups are nomadic tribes rearing livestock such as goat sheep camels and horses these animals provide them with milk hide from which they are leather for belts sleeps water bottles hair is used for or mats carpets cloths and blanket they wear heavy robes as protection against dust storm and hot winds depression are made when the wind blow uh, away the sand in the depressions where underground water reaches the surface and oases are formed these areas is are fertile people may settle around these water bodies and grow date palm and other crops sometimes the oases may be abnormally large tafiland oasis is morocco is the largest oasis with an area of about 13000 square kilometer the o oasis in the sahara and the nile valley in egypt supported settled population since water is available the people grow dates crops such as rice wheat barley beans are also grown egyptian cotton famous worldwide is grown in egypt discovery of oil a product in great demand throughout the world in algeria libya and egypt is constantly transforming the sahara desert other minerals of importance that are found in the area include iron phosphorus manganese and uranium the cultural landscape of sahara is undergoing change gleaming glass seized office buildings towing
tower over mosque and super highways crisscross the ancient camel's path trucks are replacing camels in the salt trade to greece are seen acting as guide to foreign tourists more and more nomadic herdsmen are taking to city life finding jobs in the oil and gas operations Ladakh is made up of two words la meaning mountain pass and dark means country the cold desert ladakh ladakh is a cold desert lying in the great himalayas on eastern side of jammu and kashmir the karakoram range in north and zaskar mountain range in the south enclosed several rivers flowing through ladakh indus being most important among them the river formed deep valley and gorge several glaciers are found in ladakh for example the gangrees glacier the latitude in ladakh varies from about 3000 meter in kargil do you circa uh, to more than 8000 meter in karakoram due to its uh, high altitude the climate is extremely cold and dry the air at this altitude is so thick that the heat of the sun can be felt intensely the day temperatures in summer are just above 0 degree and the night temperature well below minus 30 degree celsius it is freezing cold in the winter when the temperature may remains below minus 40 degree celsius for most of the time dras one of the coldest inhabited place in earth is located in ladakh as it is in the rain shadow of himalayas there is little rainfall as low as 10 cm every day the area experiencing freezing winds and burning hot sunlight but you surprised to know that if you sit in the sun for with your feet in the shade you may suffer from both sunstroke and frostbite at same time ladakh is known as kappa cha which means snow land kappa chan flora and fauna due to high aridity the vegetation is sparse there are scanty patches of grasses and shrubs for animals to graze groves of willows and poble lands are seen in the valleys during the summers fruit trees such as apple apricots and walnuts bloom several species of birds are sighted in ladakh robin red starts tibetan snow cock raven and hoop are common some of these are migratory birds the animal of ladakh are wild goats wild sheep yak and special kind of dogs the animals are reared to provide for the milk meat and hides yak milk is used to make cheese and butter the hair of the sheep and goats used to make woolens the chiru or the tibetan antelope is an endangered species it is hunted for its wool known as shantush which is light in weight and extremely warm people do you find any resemblance between the people of ladakh and inhabitants of tibet and central asia the people here are either muslim or buddhist in fact several buddhist monotheist dots and ladakhis landscape with their traditional gompas some famous monarchist are himis thikis shets and lomeros the finest cricket bat are made from the wood of the willow tree kashmiri willow in the summer season the people are busy cultivating barley potato pea beans tripnips the climate in winter months is so harsh that people keep themselves engaged in the festivities and ceremonies the women are very hard working they work do no they work not only in the houses and fields but also manage small businesses and shop le the capital of ladakh is well connected both by road and air the national highway 1 a connect le to kashmir valley through the jozila pass can you name some more passes in the himalaya rohtang 
to uh, Manali, Le uh, Highway crosses four passes Rotangla, Brach, Bada Lachla, uh, Lung Lachla, and Tahalangla. Tah, Tahalangla. The highway open only between July and September when roads is clear when snow is cleared from the road. Tourism is a major activity with uh, several tourists streaming in from within the India and abroad visit to Gumpas Treeks to see the meadows and glaciers. Witnessing ceremony and festivities are important activities. Life of people in undergoing challenges. Uh, due to modernization but the people of Ladakh had over the centuries learned to live in balance and harmony with the nature. Due to scarcity of resources like water and fuel, they are used with re uh, river, rains and clay uh, care. Nothing is uh, discarded or wasted. Ladakhi women in traditional dress. Northern hot Buddhist and Muslims desert is characterized by hmm. scatty vegetation Himis in Ladakh is famous monastery Egypt is famous for growing cotton I think the book is finished, completed, completed, class 7th geography book completed. <laughs>